All right, chuck it out, my friends. We got a greeting committee here today to take us for a boat ride. How about that? How nice whoop, of you to offer. Sorry about the barbed fence, keeping me out of there to get a ride. Holy Hannah, that's the biggest bird I've ever seen. The biggest seagull. Oh, just wait, it's fake chuck. Faking everybody out. Yeah, I'll let you listen to the wind for a couple seconds here because you know what? Oh, this wind feels so freaking nice. It, my midweek update this week of June, no, where, what week are you on, Chuck? You're in July already, oh my God. Uh, it's been hot. We've been breaking records this week all over British Columbia for heat and yesterday, the day before, and today is doing it. I am zapped of energy. I don't want to do anything. And this breeze is funneling down the ocean front inlet here, and it's very cooling. If you go up a little bit, that mountainside, oh man, right out in the sun in the open, yeah, you feel it. So this one here is airing my armpits out. So the ships I'm showing you here videoed are Owned by the Canadian Coast Guard, it's an offshore fisheries research ship. This baby was made in 37 different blocks and then all welded together into one piece. Uh, being a research vessel, vessel blah, blah, I can, I'll get that word out, it has four different labs in it for testing and blah blah blah, all of that type of stuff. This guy is actually only five years old, so it's a new ship into the Canadian Coast Guard. Actually, I was sitting around the corner there, out of the sun, cooling off with the wind blowing down, but I couldn't video because it's just so windy there. But to so to video, I come around the corner here and yeah, whatever, <laughs> out of the wind. Um, I probably look like a homeless guy sitting there. I'm in these dirty pants. I painted my, uh, yeah, I'm not showing you my wingling. Um, my paint there, I painted my bike helmet earlier today. And I've got Crocs on that, the, the knobs, the nibs, digging into my feet, causing it to chafe in there. So I put uh, vinyl tape on. And my hair looks like shit because it's sweating like crazy and it needs washing and blah 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 blah. So I probably look like a homeless person. This heat is really killing a lot of the homeless and people who not only don't have housing but people who have housing like some of the elderly that can't get out or some of the people in wheelchairs. I know where I work we deliver food to some of these guys and drinks and stuff like that and snacks and uh, because they can't get out so they take DoorDash to you know so they're trapped inside that that's so sad on a day that is what is it today it's it's 38 degrees which is around 99 100 degrees so it's pushing that temperature extreme and I seen one homeless guy he was under a picnic table by the library there he was hanging hiding under the picnic table no trees around so I mean, either that or he was passed out but still the point is I feel bad for homeless they have to go live by the creek or something and there's so many homeless nowadays back when I was young you didn't see this people homeless living on the streets or now it's just so rampant it's unbelievable and it's gonna get worse with costs going crazy. You know, it actually saddens me that a lot of people in our society shun these guys and think they're worthless or hold less value. And the higher ups think they're of more value just because they have money. It, it, your value is not money. Your value is uh, what, how you help others and, and support each other and have kindness to each other. And okay, speaking of homeless, in the heat, this is what I mean. Oh, they're out camped under the tree here, trying to keep out of the heat. Well, they're in the sun, but close to the ocean and water they can dip in. So. 
Yeah, you know, Port Alberni is no different than any other city. There's a lot of homelessness here. A lot of, and you know, you, rentals are unbelievable. I don't, these guys can't afford it, pay, being on a welfare wage. And jobs are really hard to find here. I mean, really hard. Gee, you can, I'm a point of proof of that. And that right there is a perfect example. What I just said where I walked by. Oh, oh wow, there's two eagles chasing each other here. Hold on, sorry about that guys. Look at this. Oh, the crows are chasing them too. And there's another one, look at, they're all fighting. For, oh, there's three. Wow, what a momentous spot. Wish I had my good camera. Look at. Swooping after each other. Trying to get this as best as I can. Huh, fighting for territory. Just here. Just after I finished videoing the eagles, I sat and talked to these guys for 10 minutes. They've been living out of this box truck here. They moved all their belongings in because they had no place to stay anymore. So they're making do with what they have at the moment, they said. Okay, now the reason why is this videoing. Sorry, I gotta chuck the screen. It is videoing. Anyways, the reason why I was talking about homelessness is because this year I had planned on being homeless, somewhat, because my plan that I thought about last year was to bike across Canada from Vancouver Island, Oceanside, out to as far as Winnipeg for sure and visit my children. I miss them. I haven't seen them for a while. Uh, possibly to Toronto. I got a friend in Toronto. Wouldn't mind spending a couple of weeks with him and talking with him. I got a cousin I've, in Ottawa. He says come by and visit. So that would be an interesting trip. It would take probably a half a year minimum at least. And I was counting up. My, these are all my receipts for food receipts. How much do I eat in a month? And then I could set a budget because, well, there it goes. I just threw one away. So... And but I lost track of this, so we're gonna start again on that. Anyhow, I'm doing lots of blah blah blah, my friends. We don't need this. We'll regroup. Now the reason why I didn't do that cross Canada trip, right here. This is why. The train. Only once in your lifetime will you ever get to work and ride and and drive trains. So I thought, you know what, Chuck? Take advantage of this chance. I don't know how much longer I'll be in Port Alberni. I'm here just watching out for my mom if she collapses or if, or, um, again, she's going to need help. Or if her guy dies, then what is she going to do? If her partner dies, she's going to be screwed because she doesn't know anybody here in town. She doesn't really go anywhere. So that was why I'm sticking here at this time. Anyhow, uh, we'll end it. Cheers, my friends. Thanks for checking out today's video spit the words out chuck spit them out right here oh one landed on the floor okay my friends see you next time stay awesome cheers to you all i'm gonna go back and do some tinkering